welcome back to the Magpie Channel TV and welcome back myself to England. Flew in to Newcastle yesterday. I'm here, I'm ready, I'm back in time for the Arsenal game tomorrow. I will be there travelling down to the Emirates. Long journey and then I'm going to stay over because of the ridiculous 8pm kickoff time by the Premier League. Come back Sunday straight to St James Park for the women's game. So a busy, exciting weekend ahead. I'm, I'm buzzing for this weekend. I'm buzzing for the football. And I tell you what, I've spent quite a bit lately. And I've been in Portugal on holiday. Banks running a bit, bit low, bit miserable. Like the bloody Newcastle weather again. Great to be back. Eh? So I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm hiding this bet on. This video is brought to you by Stakemade. Now Stakemade is the simplest and easiest betting app I have ever used. You can download it with a link in the description as well. And this is my bet. For this weekend, an easy fourfold, just just quick, just simple, five pound, not major, but the return is. Look at that return. I've went a bit out there, Jimmy. You know I fancy the boys to get a draw, to get a result there at the Emirates, like we did last year, and I fancy a potential upset in the Carabao Cup final as well, which I would love on Turkey teeth Jurgen Klopp to not win that one. I think Chelsea may do it on pens, but I went for two draws there and two home wins in the Premier League, where teams are coming up against relegation threatened sides. So that's my pick. That's my pick. You can get involved in Stakemate as well by clicking the link in the description. Obviously, it's a betting app, so you have to be 18 plus to play and do gamble responsibly. So I hopefully I get some wins off that, get some money back, play for everybody Arsenal away as well, to be fair. Do you know what I mean? That's not cheap, going down there, hotel and everything. So there we go. That's a little bit of a spoiler for how I think this game's going to go. But we'll get into the Arsenal game in just a minute. Eddie Howe's press conference took place this morning as well and the fantastic news is that the injury crisis is finally 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 coming to an end nearly just about hopefully Isaac and ex-gunner Joe Willick have been training this week Joe Willick can you remember what he looks like I can just about from Old Trafford where he was brilliant scored that goal we haven't seen him for months finally he is due back this weekend so even just to get them in the match day squad would be a huge bonus, obviously, especially Alexander Isaac, because if we're going to get something at the Emirates, we need someone up top there who can take their chances, and we all know how clinical Isaac is. So hopefully they'll at least be on the bench, if not starting. Now, who knows with Eddie Howe who could be playing, who could be coming back. That is obviously a monumental bonus to have them back in the team and back with a chance. Going up against, obviously, a high-flying Arsenal. And Arsenal have been high-flying, you know what I mean? They've been really, really good in the league this year. Obviously, they're right up there in the title race. Interestingly, I was in Portugal during the week, as you know, and so were they. I wasn't in Porto. I didn't have my Porto kit on. I wasn't in the stands. No, no. I was too busy in the bar, too busy on the beach. But I did watch the game in the bar. And uh, they were bad that night. I thought they were really poor. First time Arsenal have not had a shot on target in two years, I believe the stat was. So they were... Really lacklustre, really different to what we'd expect. You know, Arsenal in the Premier League have been going ballistic, you know what I mean, on a, on a mad one. Scoring goals for fun, clean sheets, winning games, you know, 6 0 here, 5 0 there. Been, been flying in the Prem, and then they go to Porto, and we need to play like Porto. Porto have just given us the blueprint of how to beat Arsenal, to be fair. I'll tell you what, Porto won in the 94th minute, Joe Willock, 94th minute winner. How about that, eh? How, how, how much would that be brilliant to wind up? those salty Arsenal fans who still haven't gotten over the VAR decision from earlier in the season. They still haven't gotten over it. All I'm seeing on Twitter and on my Instagram comments and on YouTube is, oh, well, we're coming for you this weekend. We're getting it back in blood. Revenge. You know, we want we want six. Like they put six past West Ham, want six past Newcastle. We want to make up for it. Want to hammer you. Yeah? Trying to battle us. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Please, no. Because to be fair, right, obviously lately we've been shipping goals for fun and also been scoring goals for fun. So... Doesn't bode well. Four Luton Manchester score against with two Bournemouth. Aye. Oh, but I tell you what, those are at home. Away from home, Newcastle are doing much better now. Obviously, impressive wins at Villa Park against Fulham in the FA Cup. So we are at Forest as well in the Prem last out. So, you know, we are doing much better on the road compared to earlier in the season. And that gives us a big chance, I think, um, of trying to get some McHale with Arsenal only just coming back from Portugal yesterday. You know, that flight, playing that game, being a bit down from it. Or they could come back with a reaction. Who knows? But Newcastle have got to do their job. Listen, Eddie Howe had a very good game plan last year. And we did grind out a result at the Emirates. Got that draw. The first draw, the first point we've taken away from them at their place in North London for the first time in, what was it, 11 games in a row, I think it was? Something daftly at I me. Mean, we haven't even scored a goal 
at the Emirates in nearly a decade. 777 minutes, I think it is, since Ayose Perez scored for the tune in 2014. So that's how long it's been since we even scored, and we haven't won there since years ago. Was it 2011? Uh, I think it was about 2011, the last time we won there. One of our worst grounds. I've been there many years in a row now, and obviously, like I've just said from that stat, haven't even seen a score. So that would be nice just to celebrate in that way, because I've never experienced it. I don't know what it feels like to jump up and down in the Emirates. Honestly, I didn't. So that would be great if we could celebrate a goal. And you know, people when we went to Villa Park didn't expect us because they were on good form and we hit them there and we won 3-1. It could have and should have been more. This one, though, Arsenal, in that title race, it obviously can be a bit different. It will be a lot harder for me. Arsenal are a very good side. They are looking very balanced, scoring goals. But just after midweek... And us having a full week, and if Willick and he's like all back, that's why I put a draw on my 4 full. I think, I think we'll get a 1-1, diving in the score prediction there, really. I think we will get a 1-1 draw at Arsenal. I'll be buzzing with that. I think that'll keep a bit of momentum going, because look at the, the Premier League table, my United are trying to increase that gap every game gone by now to 6. So at the minute, seventh Conference League is looking the most likely for Newcastle United. We obviously got the FA Cup next week, big game Tuesday night at Blackburn. I'll be there as well, can't wait for that. But in the league, if we can get another draw and take that into our next game, that would be a huge bonus. And there's nothing to say. Newcastle are dangerous. Gordon can hit them on the break. Sharp can score from a corner. Bruno, who's, who I don't know how, is still on that one yellow card away from being suspended. I find that absolutely mental, to be honest. We seem to be seeing it for weeks now, and he's he somehow avoided it. The way Bruno plays, I can't believe it. This will be the game. I'm sure this will be the game. And I've seen a lot of people saying, you oh, know, Please don't, because Blackburn's more important. And uh, it is, in a sense, because I, I want that FA Cup run. But Bruno, if we're going to get anything at the Emirates, people like Bruno Gimresh needs to be on point. They need to be on form. Obviously, Arsenal have got that thing with Bruno, where they try to sign him. He said, no, F that. Yeah, we know how that played out. So I am, I'm, I'm actually buzzing for the trip to the Emirates. Seeing them on Wednesday night has given me a bit more confidence that we can go there and upset the odds. And I would absolutely love it. Kevin Keegan style, if we... Could do it. But back, just quickly back to Eddie Howe's press comments. Nothing much more to take away from it. Like I said, Isaac will it all, are both fit. They've trained all week. Anderson's coming back soon. Obviously, Anderson, Dummett, uh, Dan Byrne, Target, a few others were at the darts last night in Newcastle. So Eddie Howe wasn't aware of that. That was the funniest part of today's press conference when he was asked about that. And he said, oh, no idea. You'll have to tell us who was there. And they better not have had a late night. Should have went in fancy dress, he said. Which they should have. Brilliant idea, that. At the darts, fancy dress. No one would have knew who they were. But they were pictured on Sky having a good time at the darts last night. Not the matter with that. Most of them were injured anyways that were on the pitch. And Tino wasn't there. And that's the most important thing. Because all I'm hearing this week is Tino has to start over Dan Bain. Because, my God, I will be up all night having nightmares at the thought of Bakai Osaka running at Dan Bain. That is, that is terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. But, uh We'll wait and see. Dan Bain's going to play any. He always does. There's no point in even talking about it anymore. <laughs> Dan Bain's bound to play. But if Tino comes in, I'd fancy that a bit more. Obviously, he would offer that pace. That could hurt Arsenal. Because Arsenal can be got at as well. I think they can, you know. I think Raya, the keeper, is a bit shaky at times. So, who knows what will happen. Will Tino come in? Would you start him? Let us know. I'll get a feeling from the comments on most of the videos. That'll be a resounding yes. Anything else from uh, Eddie Howe's press conference there? Just loads of questions on Dan Ashworth again, to be honest with you. Loads of stuff on Ashworth. People asking him, did he end, did he end well? A good relationship? And he was like, yes. Wouldn't get drawn into the, the drama from Jim Ratcliffe where he's trying to say it's absurd that Newcastle are keeping on guard and leave. Oh, what do you want me to do, Jimmy? Just hand them over, dear. Yeah, oh, director of football. Want him? Yeah, there you go. Money? Don't mention it. Enjoy yourself, Dan. Yeah? So what, you going out next year? No, we're not going to do that, are we? Do you know what I mean? We, we're obviously going to demand a fee, and we want a big fee, just like you did for Jesse Lingard. But there's a rant on Dan Ashrath on the channel already. I did that video on a Portuguese beach a few days ago, so check out if you haven't already. Thanks again, Estate Mate, for sponsoring this video. You can download it and get involved in this weekend's action with a nice little bet like mine, my fourfold. The link is in the description to get involved. Have a little flutter, but do remember to gamble responsibly and you have to be 18 plus to play. Stay tuned to Mike My Channel TV over the weekend. Loads of videos from the trip to the Emirates tomorrow. Vlog, fan cams, match reaction, and then Sunday, media suite for the women's game. So loads to come for you lot on YouTube. Cheers, people, for watching. Drop your thoughts below, your score prediction. I'm going for a 1-1. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one.